Hey guys, DC here, and this is my review on Big Time Sports, an Apple Arcade exclusive. So the game is loading up here, and as you can see here from the title screen, it's either one or two players, and there's also a daily event. Now I want to pat myself on the back here uh, as we go through some of the options. I think the timing of this review is exceptional. Uh, because as you may know we are in an Olympic year so I'm very excited for the Olympics coming up here uh, shortly within the next few months there should be the time trials for USA and I'm looking forward to that I was a big track and field runner back in my heyday so uh, you have the option when you're planning to do one or all the events I'm just gonna go through uh, one event at, the at a time here uh, with you guys I'm not going to go through all of them, but just uh, one at a time. Show you some of the mechanics of each game. They differ slightly. And uh, again, they're very short, almost, you know, mini game style. And uh, so there's not much uh, depth or, or involved in a lot of these games. And um, usually not quite a steep learning curve. So we're going to do basketball here first. You'll see me uh, kind of go through basketball and to aim what you do is pull back and aim with the left joystick tap the A button to shoot the ball you get three misses a perfect shot gets extra points okay so simple mechanics and the game gives us like a little bit of a tutorial here so uh, let's see kind of what I have here let's see if I can um, Steph Curry it up and again I played this game originally when it came out uh, you know for for a little bit of time as I miss yeah, but I never got too deep into it. So um, me, uh, you know, doing this review is the most that I've, I've played this game. And again, I take another miss. And then by the third time, I uh, start to heat up here a little bit. So again, this is the basketball uh, portion of, um, of big time sports. And again, after three misses, it just ends there. So you saw on that last shot I missed. I'm going to go uh, at it a couple of times here. Um, I think though when I originally played Big Time Sports, um, when the Apple Arcade launched, I think the basketball was a little bit different if I'm not mistaken. I think it was um, more of like a slam dunk sort of contest where you had to maybe jump and get as high as you can. If, if I'm not mistaken, I think it was set up a little bit differently. Um, uh, now I'm just thinking it up here a little bit. I'm going to play a few times here. Again, I'm holding the left trigger, or uh, the, the left, um, it, it's the left uh, joystick to try to aim, and it's kind of, um, it pulls on you, obviously, so you have to kind of hold it steady or it will move. So this isn't just kind of setting it up and letting your, your, your thumb go, you have to kind of hold it steady once you have it aimed, so that's what makes it kind of difficult. So it's much harder than kind of what it looks like in this tutorial to kind of keep your, your aim steady. I'm going to keep going here for a little bit. See if I can improve my, uh, my shot here. Okay, yeah. I got one to go. Let's see if I can get two in a row here. Nope. But yeah. Uh, this is one of the, the basic games here, and then we're going to get to a, a few more in just a moment. I wasn't much of a basketball player uh, growing up. Uh, again, like I told you, track and field, which I'm uh, excited for for this upcoming Olympics, and football. So I did uh, football starting in, in middle school. And then I picked up track in high school, and then I did a little bit of football and and track when I um, when I went to college. Played Division three for a year, and then kind of I, I bowed out gracefully. All right, so we're going to do a different event here: swimming. Okay, and here we're going to be tapping L1 to kick our legs and R1 to spin our arms. So. Uh, when playing this, you kind of have to develop a little bit of um, like a coronation movement, right? You want, you want to be tapping them kind of at the same time. So it takes me a little bit of time to kind of get things going, then I start to speed up. But yeah, you're typing L1 and R1 on the Steel Series Nimbus while you're playing this. And then now my guy's moving here. And again, 
this swim is is pretty uh it's pretty deep here let's see how far this goes I was thinking like a hundred meter freestyle 200 meter freestyle uh, but again this uh, goes for a little bit of time all right so that looked like it was about 1500 meters so I don't know if that's uh, even an actual event <laughs> for swimming like that but uh, yeah we're gonna keep going here let's try a little bit of baseball wasn't a big baseball fan um, but let's see the instructions for baseball tap and hold the A button to get a pitch release at the right time to the ball when the ball is hit tap A to increase spin and distance okay yeah so the baseball mechanics aren't too bad from what I see here so I'm gonna ask for the pitch here and then I didn't let go soon enough so you gotta time it up you have to hold and then let go and then tap 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 so wasn't the biggest baseball fan But, you know, I've, I've watched it here and there, so. If, if you watched my review on, um, on Atomic Hangman, right, so I recently uh, released a review on Atomic Hangman. One of the, um, one of the clues or puzzles, whatever you want to call it, one of the, ca the category was, was um, sports and the clue was baseball player and the player wound up being, um, Mickey Mantle was, was the answer, so I recently kind of I recently kind of had a, another baseball reference in one of my other reviews. In the in that other review, I spoke a little bit about um, Teddy Atlas and you know I, I think he mentioned either Mickey Mantle or Nolan Ryan as one of his heroes growing up. So that's just a, a random fact, you know. Teddy Atlas again. He's the world famous, um, you know, boxing sort of trainer. He worked, uh, I think, a little bit with Mike Tyson and you know a lot of different fighters. All right, we're gonna switch up the game here. Enough baseball. Let's see what else we have here. So trampoline, and again, I'm not sure if trampoline is an official Olympic sport. I feel like I've seen it somewhere. But I could be wrong. Catch the falling gymnast by pressing L1 or R1 to move the trampoline. So let, let's see here. It, I think this takes me a little bit of time to get used to it. There's a little arrow. I'm going to replay that. There's a little arrow there at the bottom that I kind of have to move and tap and get underneath. So keep your eye kind of there at the bottom of the screen for me. And you should see the arrow moving underneath. So yeah, this is this is a probably one of the easiest sort of mini games they have um, within big time sports. And I, I know that they may not all have uh, this game may not have only official Olympic games, but or Olympic sports rather. But I'm, I'm trying to remember where I've seen trampoline, like uh, the competition. So this is this is very simple. I think I stop at around 20 because uh, it doesn't necessarily get harder or go faster. I think it stays at this pace. So eventually I just kind of ended it. I think I'm, uh, on purpose, I kind of just moved it because it's not super exciting. All right. So let's see what else. I think I do a little bit of weightlifting, right? So powerlifting here, weightlifting. Tap L1 or R1 when the indicator reaches the markers on either side. So this takes a little bit of timing. So this one's a little bit more timing with your L1 and R1 uh, buttons. So I have to type L1 on that left-hand side. 
or R1 on the right hand side at the right time when that green dot you know approaches the indicator when it's over that little red circle I have to press the button at the right time and that will get my guy powered up so he does the, the, the hang motion and the clean motion or the jerk motion and clean motion however you uh, describe it so there's two parts to this um, exercise it's the jerk or hanging motion and then the clean portion alright so this one gets, gets pre it's pretty simple it gets harder again I think I go up to maybe 200 and something pounds but again yeah the weights here a lot of this the weights here and even the, the meters with the, the swimming I aren't realistic to my knowledge 1750 uh, again again not realistic to my to my knowledge uh, 2000 we're up to 2000 I think now here for this uh, what jerk and clean hang, hang clean 2500 yeah so again that sort of weight not realistic to my knowledge again I, I do work out and uh, that's, a, that's a little extreme but this is a video game so let's do cycling this one hold L1 then R1 to pedal your bike hold for the full duration of the guides and wait to recharge you'll go faster if you don't hold both sides at the same time All right, so we're going here. This one takes a little bit, a little bit of time to get adjusted to. Um, this this one is probably the hardest one I played, and I think I'm going to end it here. You got to kind of um, coordinate your L1 and R1 uh, pressing. You can't hold them down at the same time. They have to kind of be offset, I think, to get your guy going. So I'm kind of uh, just getting the hang of it, and then eventually. Okay, yeah, one thing with the game, you can go to the instructions at any time during the game if you just need a quick refresher, because I was kind of confused when I was playing this, but the instructions are right there anytime you need them just to kind of get another refresher. So, this one is a little bit awkward, this game here. But yeah, this is just a quick little game to play. Again, we're in a, an Olympic year, so... This may be a good little theme, sort of, um, good little theme game to play. Nice little family game. And uh, that's pretty much it. That's my review. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, you can't win if you don't play. Thank you.